Hey there, it's Ilzi B. I'm walking in a park, which is one of my favorite pastimes. And when somebody asks me what I miss from Latvia most of all, it's walking in the woods, in the forests, or in the parks. I used to live in Valmier, and there are a lot of trails where to walk. And then I moved to Sigulda, which was my dream town. And I loved walking in Sigulda. There are so many trails. And I was surprised that Sigul, the people who had lived there all their lives, often didn't even know about those trails that I learned about during the first year when I lived there. And now it's springtime in Sigul. I can only imagine how beautiful it is becoming at this time. At this time, I really miss Latvia. I want to go to Latvia. Spring in Latvia is marvelous. I like all phases of spring in Latvia. And there is one very famous song about what blossoms in Sigold. And I'm going to teach you one sentence from that song. That sentence is Zied Ievas Sigolda. And I'm also going to play you a fragment from this song later. And if you want to know where to get this song, where to listen to this song, and if you want lyrics of this song, request it by clicking the link in the description of this video. But once more, the sentence that I'm going to teach you is Zied Ievas Sigulda. And in English it means bird cherries blossom in Sigold. But in this sentence we have the verb first. It comes before the noun. The action word comes before the noun. And that action word is zied. Zied. Let's say it together. Zied. It means blooms or blossoms. Zied. And bird cherry is ievas. Ievas. Ieva would be the singular form of this word, but since Ievas, uh, bird cherry is a bush, therefore we use the plural form of this word. Ievas. Let's say it together. Ievas. And in singular it is Ieva, and it's also a girl's name. It's that famous name of Eve in the Garden of Eden. And bird cherry's blossom is Zied. Ievas. Zied Ievas. And then I also had the name of my favorite town in Latvia, Sigold. But in this sentence it has the long vowel at the end. Sigolda. Sigolda, which means in Sigold. That lengthening mark changes it all. It changes the case of the word. And now it is the so-called locative case, which tells us about the location where the bird cherries blossom. Zied Ievas Sigolda. Listen to the music. And you know what else I like to see blooming in Latvia? Those are lilacs. First come bird cherries, and right after that come lilacs. They are also bushes. Therefore, this word will also be in plural. Ceriņi. Also quite a difficult word, right? Because there is that difficult consonant C, and there is the soft Ñ sound. Ceriņi. Ceriņi. And if we want to say lilacs bloom or lilacs blossom, then we would say zied ceriņi. Zied ceriņi. Let's say together. Zied ceriņi. Say, let's say it again. Zied ceriņi. 
and I'll teach you one more word what can blossom which looks really good here people would try not to see in their lawns but in Latvia you see it quite a lot those are dandelions dandelions is pienenes pienenes if you know the word milk in Latvian which is piens then it's easy to remember this word pienenes those are little flowers that have milk inside, right? If you pick a dandelion, you see there is milk, white milk coming out. So that's why there is this name, pienenes. And pienenes is also a plural form. The singular form would be pienene. Let's say it together, pienene. Once more, pienene. So today you learned four words. You learned the action word, zied, which means blooms or blossoms, zied. And then there was ievas. Ievas means bird cherries. The next word was ceriñi. Ceriñi means lilacs. And finally, the last word, the fourth word was pianenes. Pianenes means dandelions. But now let's listen to that song again a little bit. But now before I finish, remember that you can request the song and the lyrics of the song by clicking the link in the description of this video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. You can subscribe to it by clicking on that icon of my face in the corner of this video. But now I'll say bye-bye, ata, I'll see you really, really soon again.